Dude, it's 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 madness, bro. Like, so he pointed it out in public, dude. And yeah. one by one, the Chelsea players started unfollowing him. This Spanish curly-haired guy saying, "Oh, curry, curry." Oh, what's that video? <laughs> dude, <I'm> so... <laughs> I we mentioned this player, Richard. Yours. Speaking of Copa America, did you yeah. watch the finals, or were you able to keep in touch with? the tournament i mean i, I it's just odd the timings are really odd yeah. for for indians you know you need to wake up like super early for that 5 5:30 it's super early dude i can't yeah. i can't not yeah, copa america. i could i have watched the euros definitely copa america is a bit too much it's stretching it a bit too much i say bro i say but i heard it was a great game between colombia and argentina and i watched the goal mm-hmm. also dude it was a good goal well played oh. by argentina and i'm starting to get feelings for scaloni dude the messi is definitely like winning him. the ballon d'or this year hey dude no dude stop this nonsense agenda bro stop it now <laughs> i'm i'm so glad that there is not here that he otherwise he would just not stop but uh, okay. i i i don't think they should give it to messi i don't think messi should even no, be I, considered dude. Get it, dude yeah just tell him to but he is you know he is actually considered for it he is in the top 10 <laughs> dude it's just nonsense man it's nonsense even in the tournament bro man was just chilling he just turned yeah. up Well, it's okay. Whatever it is, what it is. But dude, that brings me to this video. Uh, I I don't know if everybody over here here saw it. Did you Did you watch that uh, video of Enzo on the bus after their victory against Colombia? Yeah, I think I think this was uh, the one you got a lot of stick for. Uh, yeah, dude. The one with the so, racism bit. Yeah. Exactly. So, guys, if if you are not sure about what we're speaking of, so there was this video uh, that Enzo uh, had put up. I think he was on Instagram live. and the whole argentina yeah. team was in the bus and they were singing a song while celebrating their copa america victory and the song was inherently a little discriminatory probably that's the best word to put it mm-hmm. and uh, it was not needed i mean it was just ne- it wasn't needed to like honestly absolutely and and i think all the viewers if you guys have seen the video tell us what you think about it if you haven't seen it go check it out and then tell us what you think about it so yes i want to know Exactly what do you think of it? I mean, as I said, it wasn't needed. It was really unnecessary. I mean, you've won something. Okay, fair enough. Celebrate whatever you want to celebrate. And why do you want to bring up a team that's not even you know relevant to you at that point of time? You're playing and, Copa America. Yeah, exactly. France are playing in Europe. They're playing the Europa. Why do you want to want to mention them? It was just so unnecessary. Dude. Like, I, I completely and, and, you know, agree. And you know, racism of any sort should not be tolerated. So uh, yeah, I I hundred percent agree. Uh, it should. And not I'm be so glad you know. All. and i'm so glad you know like it's especially shouldn't be tolerated so i'm so glad you know players from his own team from chelsea have uh, you know sir i'm following him yeah bro, exactly yeah. dude it's 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 madness bro like how can one man make such a big blunder uh, so if you guys don't know what happened was after his live after he posted that uh, his teammate wesley fofana who's also a french uh, citizen yeah. who hasn't played for chelsea at all because of his injuries but uh, this guy went on social media and he was like is this what we're doing now are we all being openly uh, discriminatory i'm going to i'm going to use this word now guys just so that we don't get uh, low viewership because of youtube so <laughs> let's stick with discriminatory so he pointed it out in public dude and yeah. one by one the chelsea players started unfollowing him everyone yeah, trevor who... chaloba i think trevor chaloba unfollowed him there was uh, if i'm not uh, wrong even conor gallagher conor yeah. gallagher also if i'm not wrong unfollowed him was a couple of other players also you know i mean obviously who unfollowed him and i think it was a right decision to do because it was as i said it's totally unnecessary I mean, why would you do it and especially at such a big stage after winning such a tournament why would you want to I, do that i swear and and the funny part is i mean i for one don't mind all of this drama going on in another club because mm. i've seen it in my club for way too long bro way too long players fighting against each other or some guy being completely acting like a complete madman on live mm. i'm so glad it's not our club at the moment <laughs> and our club is finally coming back on the right track and dude you know the That's funny right. bit is there were two videos that went viral that week of two players celebrating and singing after their victory one was enzo fernandez with his discriminatory chant and the other was this guy <laughs> this spanish curly haired guy saying oh, kukure kukure <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's <was> that video? <laughs> dude, ah, it's so. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that that dude. stuck in my head, dude. I swear, dude, it was so cringy, but I kept watching it. I kept watching it on repeat, bro. <laughs> Drink a <laughs> straya. <laughs> oh, dude, it was so drunk. Oh man, <laughs> man, that was funny. That was dude, a funny. Who goes on a prayer? You know, talk about themselves, dude. <laughs>
<laughs> oh bro what a mad lad dude what a mad lad i'm just i'm just thinking what was halan be thinking dude when he saw that video <laughs> hey, what the hell dude i swear man i swear but that was a that was a really funny chant dude and the way he sang it also was incredible <laughs> oh, oh god oh man but yeah i think enzo fernandez i think chelsea i mean i think his future at chelsea is a doubt i feel i have a very strong feeling Really? So he did. He yeah, did. because because I don't know if you read last season. Also, he was he wanted out of Chelsea last season when things didn't go their way, and you know he's made it pretty evident that he doesn't want to stay at the club. Hmm. Especially I mean, especially when things weren't going too good. So I mean, if you remember, the guy tried to act all big in front of Mason Mount and said, yeah. "This is Chelsea. <laughs> this is Chelsea." I was like, "What's wrong with you, bro?" <laughs> Oh, dude. He hasn't but, won, and that was that also when they were sitting eleventh or twelfth. I mean, fair play to him; they did beat us in that game. So yeah. I guess it's all warranted. It's fine. But I just but what, do you, the, what do you want? Sorry, sorry. I, I just want to let the viewers know that Enzo Fernandez did post an apology, and I don't know if you know yeah. about it, but uh, I'll just tell you paraphrasing what it was. I still don't kind of agree with the apology because it seems very half-assed. So he basically said, "I am extremely sorry." and i was just celebrating and i was in the in the spirit of celebrating i uh, made a blunder and those actions and all of that doesn't represent me and i'm really sorry so that was it just seems like a pr just, stunt it's yeah bro but pr stunt the silly part is his apology is almost as if ki i'm really sorry i was celebrating and in celebrations you saw my racist side So that's that's almost what it means dude and I don't mm. know who made him post that cuz it was it was a ridiculous apology according to me but I guess it is what it is man we'll find out soon enough what Enzo mm. Maresca does with uh, all these Chelsea players What do you make of Chelsea next season like what where do you think they would end up as you said United would end up in the top 4 or they would win it as you said <laughs> So where do you think Chelsea would end up Dude I think Chelsea have to improve right like I mean yeah. there's no scope for them to not improve they've got in a good manager a manager who has yeah, i think end of end of last season also i mean towards the end uh, yeah. they actually picked up form True. they were playing well True. Uh, they managed to you know i mean i honestly thought when mid season i thought they would end up 10th or even in the bottom half but you know fair credit to them you know they ended up 7th or 8th 7th if i'm not wrong no i think wait was it 6th 6th no i think they ended up 6th sorry no yeah, they, they ended up 6th sixth. Sixth and we knocked them to conference and we knocked them out by winning the, the FA conference Cup. but uh, yeah bro i mean the thing with chelsea is that uh, they their whole uh, vision for acquiring mm. players after todd bowley has come and has has been to acquire as young uh, players as they can get their hands on yeah. all 23 below all upcoming potential 23? talented players yeah to 23 is too high dude for them i don't know if you've seen the players that they're signing are 2009 2008 born dude the, re- the recent player that they signed was 2008 born to i mean it genuinely is kind of ridiculous it's uh, all 16 17 year olds dude dude it is, it is ridiculous but i think what they're trying to do is create an environment where even if the player doesn't work out they can still sell him for a high fee but i don't yeah. understand if that is the best approach for a club that wants to uh attain success right now because they're mm-hmm. trying to build a super team where every player matures at a similar time maybe when they reach the age of 25 26 they all hit their peaks and they're all incredible players that may be possible but you need to be winning yeah. now for that to happen man if you start losing now and if you keep deteriorating as a team you're going to lose out on your talent yeah, it's going to backfire it's going it, i mean yeah. it's going to affect the mentality of the players also and how long even if you're a talented as you said like if they want to get in talented younger promising players and eventually build on a team you know where they all mature at the same time and become mm-hmm. or reach their potential at the same time but like how if you're promising but talented say for example you're a garnacho in a team of united team okay for example which is consistently losing season after season at one point you're going to say you know what i'm talented i have a lot of potential yeah. why should i stick around because i want to win Fair. And that's going to be the case. It's kind of going to backfire for them if it doesn't work out. True. And uh, you know, I shouldn't be hoping it. I mean, as a rival, I'm shouldn't be hoping, but I'm really hoping that it works out for them. And uh, Maresca does a good job for them. Let's see how it works out for them. But I think this season it's going to be tough. It's not going to be that easy. It's going to. Well, I think the one thing that Maresca really should sort out is the defensive football, defensive side of the game. I would still yeah. say, though Cole Palmer really carried them in, in an attacking sense, but they yeah. were still fluid. in an attacking manner even though they uh, i think it was just a case of wasting a lot of good opportunities mm-hmm. but defensively they were shambolic bro they were so bad that anthony looked like prime ronaldinho bro dude the guy was just especially that game dude 
how good did anthony look how poor were yeah. chelsea look how poor were they so i genuinely think if you tighten up their defense maybe then there's a chance for improvement but if you can't and if you don't i don't see them improving too much bro yeah i mean so let's see how it works out for them yeah only the season can tell honestly true 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 on that note guys before we bid adieu i want all of you to come on the comments below and tell us if you think chelsea will finish above united or if you're a manchester united fan like yashas and i then please back me up on this 21 is coming <laughs> maybe not this year some year dude is <laughs> come dude just 21 come anyway all right guys i hope you guys had a good time it's been a long long wait for another episode as we said earlier we'll be coming back with episodes more frequently yeah and Isn't hopefully right? we should have the right also back with us soon yes so, yes yeah. that's right that's right all right guys thank you, guys. you to share like subscribe and yeah. cheers bye bye yes please guys bye bye take care